Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, welcome back. Hey, we got a special um, video that I'm going to throw out here. Uh, I believe I'm just going to throw it out there like a Monday or something like that, see how the computer works. But anyway, uh, last, um, I don't know, yeah, I guess, whatever. A one of Wednesday. I can't say the last one because I don't know, you know, when, when you're seeing this or when you're not seeing this, but... Uh, we had a, a wonderful surprise from our friend, uh, Matt Roberts, and uh, he is the winner from the uh, third annual uh, Roverland uh, giveaway. And so he sent us a package back, unannounced to me, and uh, we did a video, a one of, video, one of Wednesday video of it, and... Uh, <laughs> I was not prepared at all because I didn't know what it was. And so we got to do a follow-up. And uh, these are the two beauties that he sent. And they are glorious. Aren't they glorious? Aren't they grand? Yes, they are wonderful. Uh, you know, even on the internet, there's not much um, to be said on here. And um, also, hey guys, uh, Ralph and... And Matt, I, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I don't know why they're running uh, ads on my videos. I'm not monetized yet. Um, but anyway, some reason, uh, some comments aren't being shown. And so we're not getting a lot of the full story of these buggers. Because I believe Matt uh, put some put some video uh, information, because I asked him to, on... Uh, in the video and it's just not showing up i just checked before i went on to make this video and there's like diddly squat so anyway so and i i think i don't know if this pink one is rare or if it's a repaint i don't think it's repainted i think that's original but um you know like sas but i don't i think that's the wrong time period because they they came in later but <laughs> Anyway, so what we're talking about is the Fun HO number 19 Land Rover made in New Zealand. So as far as I know, there's a New Zealand company, the Fun HO, that uh, put out quite a few um, uh, die-cast toys. Uh, I made some no notes here, and they're from around 1966 to 1970s. They uh, really hammered out uh, a lot of things. Um, uh, implements, um, machinery, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is a Series 1 made in New Zealand. Um, and I got some information about a 162nd scale may maybe. And these might be early uh, to what they are. Now, you're going to have to excuse my uh, high-tech uh, stuff here, but uh, I've got um, some stuff that I grabbed off the internet, and uh, of course, you know, with my high-tech stuff going on. So this is from the Toys NZ, I'm, I'm guessing Toys uh, New Zealand, but I got some more pictures of some really nice ones, and apparently this came in a... Uh, a gift box or a box oops uh, we're getting my fat fingers thumping here but you see they got a little uh, di uh, paper here that you can get more you know as a kid you would get them they came in a box uh, midget now I don't know if that's the same midget from the UK uh, that was down there I don't really know but you can see um, here's an older picture of it and see the series one to it uh, yeah, so this is the box, and it came with a 39, the trailer. So 19 is the, the, the Land Rover Series 1, and 38, did I just say 39? 38 is the trailer, and it would come together, apparently. And here's more of the, the um, Fun HO, so midget scale models. 
So yeah, just kind of cool. So here it is, uh, Primo, Primo with the trailer and uh, really kind of cool. So now I'm kind of looking for a trailer, <laughs> but uh, this is great. I, I don't need the trailer, but anyway, so yeah, this is just really kind of cool. You can see some nice pictures there. I hope that's really kind of turning out. I don't even know what that is. But uh, yeah, the other thing was um, Dan was asking about if we could take a look um, at the original, uh, and I've only got a couple of these, the Lesney England one. And uh, I, I pulled out this one. And so here it is. Now, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, the Lesneys did not have a trailer hitch at all. This green one is missing the uh, pogey on the end. The pink one has the pogey. Uh, if you don't know what a pogey is, <laughs> it's a word I just made up for that little hitch thing. <laughs> but anyway, so mine don't have uh, uh, little dudes in them. But here's a green one. This is an early one, uh, as far as I know. Uh, with I think those are gray wheel. Yeah, this is a gray wheel one. So um, I I'm not sure these these the Matchbox were uh, 50s I believe series one, and they were like in the 50s. And you know I the Lesney stuff is really hard to get here in the states, let alone Wisconsin, uh, with my budget. But anyway, so there was a I got this one. This one's a little bit nicer. I, I don't believe it's a, a reproduction, um, but a little bit nicer. Uh, but yeah, they they look like they're they could be the same casting, you know. The the seat has a little bit different, uh, is sharper and stuff like that. But the the hood you can see is a little bit bigger uh, on the the Matchbox than than the uh, Fun Ho. Uh, so. Yeah, and then the grill is, I, I think, the biggest thing there. I'm trying to line those up. But, yeah, the matchbox is a little bit taller there in the fenders. But you can still the, see the grill has got a lot more detail and stuff like that. You know, just kind of really kind of cool. So we're going to take a look. Oh, you can see that they ran uh, eyelets for the axles where uh, the fun HO just pinched them with some pinchers. Uh, I got one more here. This one's a custom. <laughs> another gray wheel but uh, it was green and somebody did the red arrow uh edition with blue and gray which is kind of cool so so there's a little um you know counter to to what we got and then i have the the remake and this this has got the dude in it you know this is the uh uh authentic reproduction of the old stuff this is under matchbox these are made in china you know, so it's not even, you know, really, you know, supposedly they got metal wheels and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, so there you go, folks. Uh, once again, awesome, awesome. Um, uh, I'm going to call it a thank you gift that Matt sent me. Uh, just awesome. These are two gems that I did not have. I didn't even know existed. So we're one step closer to having... Uh, Land Rover, a Guinness World Record of a, a, a casting from every toy manufacturer ever made a Land Rover. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, just super awesome. These are just super great. But uh, yeah, we could do a little bit more comparison here. Yeah, the wheels are, are a little bit bigger. Yep. Yep. Really kind of cool. Interestingly, the, the Matchbox, I don't know if that's supposed to be uh, rounded, but it looks like the, each end is smashed, and and this has got a, like a rivet, and then smashed on the on the one end, or, or, or mushroomed on the one end. So, really kind of cool. But I don't I don't know um, if they really um, you know made their own die to cast these. I, I guess so. I suppose maybe they did the grill to make it a little bit different so they weren't infringing on trademarks. I, I'm not sure. And then the hood is a little bit different. So it, it's not like they bought the old casting, but it would have been about the same time. You know, they didn't buy the same dies and, uh, you know, just remanufacture them, you know. 
I don't think New Zealand is into that kind of stuff. But uh, so there you go. Really kind of cool, guys. Um, yeah, this is just awesome. This is awesome. Once again, if you got a comment, try putting it down below. I don't know what's going on. There's no restrictions or anything like that. But make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook if you can and leave a comment over there. Uh, otherwise, subscribe. And yeah, th this is awesome. Thank you guys for joining me today. This is your friend Dano reminding you, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.